Hello everyone! Today this video is mainly for my non-Italian audience because today we're gonna talk about, as the title says, what not to do in Italy. I'm gonna give you five things that you really shouldn't do in Italy. So if you plan on visiting here or if you're just curious about our culture, I hope these five tips will help you. So let's start! Thing number one, don't start air kissing everyone. In Italy, when we see friends or like people we know, it's really common to just give the two famous kisses. Always start from the right, so aim to the left cheek of the person in front of you. You don't want to just kiss someone on the lips, right? Do you? So, we do give like air kisses, but not to everyone, not to people we don't know. <laughs> if it's an informal situation, go for it. Friends, sure. If it's someone you don't know, if it's like a more formal situation, especially if it's business, like, don't. Just a handshake is fine. You're good to go. <laughs> don't just randomly kiss everyone and also it's not a real kiss it's an air kiss I, I don't want to have your saliva on my cheek thing number two this thing i really like it and i really don't like it when people don't follow this rule it's not a rule it's just etiquette i guess don't start eating until everyone is served i don't know why in america it's not a thing so when you have food on your plate you just start eating if all the people are still waiting doesn't really matter in Italy it does and it's not just for formal situations we do this at home I wait until everybody in my family has food on their plate and then I start eating just wait for me it's gonna be two minutes and if it's not sometimes if there's a problem and maybe a person has to wait for their food because they have something different or i don't know the person who is waiting for their food or the person who is cooking will tell you to start eating in that case you can i'm pretty sure someone will say please eat because that's still etiquette if you see that someone's waiting to eat because of you then you will say like please start eating but wait until they say that Thing number three, I was very surprised when I heard one of my co-workers saying that of course Italians are famous for their gestures, right? But he thought that our gestures didn't really have a meaning behind, like that when we do this or when we do this or when we do this, it's just like, you know, using your hands like I'm doing right now with no specific meaning. But a lot of Italian gestures have a specific meaning. Please don't start using Italian gestures randomly. No, I will be so confused. We might get mad because to us you're you're communicating. It's like non-verbal communication. So use your hands, make sure not to use Italian gestures randomly. Thing number four, when invited to a dinner, make sure not to come empty-handed. You don't need to bring a lot of stuff, just bring some pastries or bring some wine. You don't need to bring a lot of wine, but nice quality. Not too expensive, but not the cheapest wine. We don't want four bottles of wine, one is fine, but higher quality. Don't show up empty-handed. I mean, if it's your best friend, sure, of course. Feed me, friend. I don't care. But if it's like a nicer dinner, bring something. And last but not least, thing number five, when you are at the restaurant, do not call out the waiter too loud. In Japan, they're always so quiet and calm, but when they are at a Japanese restaurant, they always scream to the waitresses like, SUMIMASEN! No, no, don't do that in Italy. That's really rude. Just like try to make eye contact with the waiter, try to do not wave your hand like this. <laughs> Just like try to, you know, with subtle gestures to catch your attention and they will come. For now, I mainly wanted to give you guys these five tips, but please let me know if you want more because when I was preparing for this video and I was writing down my five main points, I realized that I could have gone on and on. So please let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And if you're Italian and you don't agree with what I said, please leave a comment. I'm curious. And subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.